Uh, IPA funds uh, are one of the pre-accession uh, instruments. Uh, this is the instruments which has been going on from the previous uh, enlargement processes. Uh, but it's true that through every of the multi-annual financial perspective, these instruments get a little bit different. And this is also the case with uh, this one. So we have for the period 2014-2020 so-called IPA 2 which is, um, I would say, a new generation of the pre-accession instrument for this financial perspective. Well, the instrument has quite a number of novelties comparing to the predecessor, so the IPA 1. In this financial perspective, uh, one thing which is very different is that it introduces a very new um, financial instrument. Uh, it is called uh, budgetary financial support. Uh, and this will accompany other instruments which have been used already in the previous financial perspective. So the whole instrument becomes, uh, I would say, a little bit more complex. Another big novelty is that the instrument does not anymore distinguish between potential candidates and candidates. So it is for all the countries from the region and including Turkey uh, of the same type. Uh, uh, and there is also a number of issues uh, which are new uh, in relation to the implementation of the IPA, uh, IPA instrument. So yes, the instrument has quite a number of new features. Well, taking into account that uh, uh, new financial perspective uh, for the 2014-20 is actually under process of uh, implementation, so we are still in a very early stage. Uh, we are pretty sure here in SEV that this uh, seminar should contribute to the better understanding of the IPA uh, instruments for this financial perspective. And on the other side, uh, this, is the, this is the seminar which continues uh, a traditional role. The CF uh, uh, operates in this area, so we have been doing these uh, pre-accession funds for, well, for, for many years. Of course, always with the new features, uh, and I would say that this one really introduces the very new features for this financial perspective.